Hello everybody, I am Xavier Bella, a general medicine physician researcher, member of the team that carry out the study title Prevalence of Chronic Kidney Disease and Risk Factors in Farming Community of Buenavista Las Pilas, El Salvador. This investigation was carried out between March and September of 2012 and the research team was directed by Celaya and Granados and was formed also by Enriquez, Orantes, and me. First, we are going to see the location of the study community, an overview of the problem in the region, then the principal objective, the methodology, principal results, and the main conclusions derived from the study. El Salvador is located in Central America and it is the smallest and the most densely populated country in Central America. El Salvador borders the Pacific Ocean on the south and the countries of Guatemala to the west and Honduras to the north and east. The study was focused on Las Pilas community located in a highland area and 100 kilometers from the country's capital, San Salvador. The elevation is around 2,000 meters above the sea level. The community is surrounded by mountains, which are woodlands covered with mainly pine forests, and present a tropical highland climate with a dry season and a wet season. The environmental temperature oscillates from 2 degrees Celsius to 20 degrees Celsius, and the lowest temperatures are generally in December and January. The agriculture constitutes the most important occupation in the area. Multiple crops are developed, like lettuces, onions, potatoes, and apples. The majority of the inhabitants is constituted of young people and are related to agriculture. In Latin America, the behavior of CKD is similar to that described internationally. However, from Southern Mexico and Central American countries, several publications have reported for more than a decade the existence of chronic kidney disease of unknown cause. This disease is highly prevalent, present mainly in rural areas and affects former men under 60 years old. This brings the problem of CKD in the region specific characteristics that require their comprehensive approach covering research areas like preventive care, rehabilitation, and teaching. The main goal of the study was to determine the prevalence of CKD and risk factors in the population over 15 years old of Buena Vista community. A cross-sectional descriptive population-based study was conducted. Clinical and epidemiological method was applied to people from both sexes and above 15 years old. The investigation was carried out by door-to-door -door visits and clinical examination. A presumptive diagnosis of CKD was done through physical measurements, urine analysis for markers of renal and vascular damage, blood tests like serum creatinine, serum glucose, and lipid profile, and taking into account the analysis of social determinants, epidemiological and clinical information related to familial and personal health history. Three months later, the patients with presumptive CKD were reassessed considering the termination of serum creatinine the calculation of glomerular filtration rate using the CKD epi formula and your analysis with albumin to creatinine ratio. A sample of 128 people were studied, from which 57.3% are feminine and 42.96% masculine. The coverture of people studied was about 70% of the eligible people. The ones that were not studied 
was due to exclusion criteria as pregnancy, menstrual period, and urinary tract infections. The distribution of occupation by sex revealed that the total of the males are enrolled in agriculture and the females are mainly housewives with an important proportion of them related with agriculture. Also, 30% of men carry out agrochemical manipulation. We found that the traditional risk factors for CKD were present in the population. The main risk factor was the alteration in blood lipids. The most affected group with these problems were females with a prevalence of 84%. 28% of the population present overweight and there is higher prevalence of overweight in females than in males. We identify non-traditional risk factors of CKD as occupational conditions related to agricultural working, exposure to agrochemicals, painkillers consumption and medical herbs. These risks were identified former studies in other Salvadorian communities by Orantes et al. In 2011, we identified the most prevalent non-traditional risk are related to agricultural works and to agrochemical management. Three agrochemicals were evidenced to be utilized with most frequency. Paraquat, also known as gramoxone, and their organophosphates methylparathion, also known as folidol, and metamidophos. Time of exposure to these products mostly surpassed 10 years in both sexes. From 123 people studied, 16 of them presented markers of kidney damage in urine. The most frequent marker was microalbuminuria. There is not presence of proteinuria above 1 gram per deciliter in none of the stages of the disease. The graphic shows the average glomerular filtration rate calculated with the CKD epi formula by age and sex. Blue line represent renal function for males, red line for females, and green line is for total population. We can observe a progressive decline in renal function through the age. Also, we can see that in the case of the female sex, the decline starts below the theoretical normal values for glomerular filtration rate. The prevalence of CKD was 13.8% in the studied population. Females with 17.4% surpassing the prevalence of males with 9.2%. From the total of people with CKD, the women represent 70.6% of the cases. In general, the prevalence of chronic kidney failure was 1.6%. Female sex is more affected with CKD than the males. This is a remarkable finding and differs from results obtained by former investigations carried out in El Salvador and in Central America. This study is founded that the group more affected were men related with agriculture. The majority of the people with CKD are not related with diabetes mellitus nor hypertension, which are the cases of CKD worldwide. A little proportion of patients with CKD present with diabetes and hypertension as comorbidities. From the overall population with CKD, we found that almost the half of them present a disease with an unknown or not traditional cause, and the rest presents disease like diabetes or hypertension. Finally, we conclude that the CKD of unknown etiology presents the following features. The risk factors more prevalent in the community were overweight, dyslipidemia, 
agricultural occupation and exposure to agrochemicals. There is a low prevalence of urinary markers of renal damage. Probably there are other biomarkers developed to detect another type of damage in the kidney. The disease is more prevalent in female population. Mostly, the CKD in this region is not associated with diabetes nor hypertension, and the behavior of the disease in the study reports differences with the reports in other parts of Central America. Thank you very much for your attention.